Hi everyone, it's Kylie from Stampers Workshop. Today we're using two stamps from the Birthday Blooms stamp set from Stampin' Up to create a really pretty card. It's a design that I have made numerous times and I just, I never get sick of it. Each time I do it, it looks completely different and um, I hope you'll like it. Today I'm using the Night of Navy ink from Stampin' Up and that's the only ink that we're using to both stamp and colour in this image. I've cut a panel of thick whisper white cardstock to four inches by five and a half inches and now I'm going to repeatedly ink up that really pretty flower, isn't it lovely, and I'm going to stamp it repeatedly all over that panel. It's a clean mount stamp or Stampin' Up calls it a clean mount stamp but you can still see this shape of the image so that you can place it down without too much trouble you won't need a misty or a stamp a magic or anything like that eyeballing it's fine so what I'm doing now is I'm squeezing the ink pad so that some of the ink will get onto the lid of the ink pad and now I just need a paintbrush and some water and we're good to color it's worth remembering that we're actually just using cardstock. It's not specialty watercolour paper, so it's going to handle water differently. If you're too heavy handed, you might get buckling, you might get pilling. I personally haven't had that problem, but I just go slowly and I really take care not to use too much water. The other thing I want you to be aware of is that we have stamped with the same ink that we're now painting with. So it the outline of the image will react to the water if you're not careful. However, if you just go slowly, a little bit of water at a time, you'll find that you really shouldn't have any problems. It's, it's only when you oversaturate the, the brush and then the image that, that you will have some troubles. So just go slowly and you'll be fine. The other secret is don't overwork it, apply your colour, move on to the next bit and let it dry. Don't start to go back and add shadows or anything like that until you've put down your first layer of colour. If you can remember that, you're good to go. You won't have a problem at all. Okay, so I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me paint the entire panel. I think one flower would just give you an idea. So we'll fast forward in a moment to when I've covered all of the bases and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to add the shadows. So I'm going to make it darker in spots and follow the lines of the stamps. That'll really tell you where you should apply extra colour. And can you see now you're really starting to get that 3D effect. The image is really starting to come to life. Once again, by this stage, that first um, layer of colour will have started to dry. So adding this extra water, you won't end up with a, a muddy mess. It will just go over the top and it'll look fantastic. I love how you can see that depth starting to appear. So once again, just go slowly, a little bit of water. This time we don't actually want it to be too diluted, our ink to be too diluted because we actually do want that darker colour to be applied to the image. It took me about 30 minutes from start to finish, including all of the painting and the final assembly to finish this card today. So it really doesn't take a long time to create a pretty little card like this. I'm up to now the leaves and at first I wasn't sure what to do but I decided just to give them a hint of blue to make them um, less dark. So I've just watered down that ink a little bit further and then sort of tapped off my brush so that it's not too wet and finished colouring the leaves. So that's my finished panel. Easy as that. One stamp, one ink and some water. I'm using the Layering Circles Framelits dies from Stampin' Up to cut out a small circle and the slightly larger scallop circle. This is going to be for our sentiment. The For You is also from the Birthday Bloom stamp set. Isn't that really pretty? Now, I want everything to be matchy-matchy, but I didn't have the Night of Navy cardstock. That's okay. That ink pad is to the rescue. Just swipe it over, as you can see, and voila, you're good to go. Just uh, make sure that you've got some scrap paper underneath because you don't really want to get that ink everywhere. Okay, that's my card base. It is uh, four and a half by five and a half inches. That's a top fold. However, as you can, as you might remember, the panel that we've created is four inches by five and a half inches. I've decided I want the sides to be the same night of navy so once again i'll just use my ink pad to 
colour them to the perfect shade. Easy as that. Now can you see ink all over my fingers? So just make sure you check before you start handling all your more nicely coloured images because you don't really want to get stray ink everywhere. You can see too that I've missed a little bit of colouring with the ink pad. That's okay. You can easily fix that. Give it a little, another little swipe. You're good to go. And see, no one will ever know that it wasn't that way to start with. It's fantastic. Okay, so grab your panel. You could pop it up if you wanted to. I decided just to have it flat. I like to use plenty of adhesive too. I like to make sure that once it's stuck, it's stuck. So you can see that we've put it in the centre. How nice does it look with the, the blue? I really like that. Okay, so we add the centre. I've given a little bit of time to dry because I didn't want to be picking up that scallop circle and still have the ink wet. So now it's just a case of working out where you want it to go. I figured since that image, that floral image was so complete that that would be the best place to have it rather than actually covering it up. Okay, so what I'm working on now before I put the finishing touches is the centre panel for the inside. I usually like to add some sort of insert just to make it a little bit more special than just a plain white or colour. So I usually create a little panel. Often I just do what I've done today, stamp off and, and stamp on the bottom corner just to give it just something special. I decided that the card did need a little bit of bling because really most cards need a little bit of bling. Just be careful if you do decide to add something like Wink of Stella to a painted panel like this that the ink may move again because you're adding effectively a liquid to it. So just go slowly. You saw there I was starting to get some blue so I just wiped off, cleaned my brush and started again. So I just coloured all over. Only on the flowers I decided not to do the leaves. I um, wanted the flowers to sort of pop up a little bit. So I really just wanted a subtle shimmery finish but you could always add things like rhinestones or sequins. It's up to you. And that's my card today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you'll give it a try. And I really appreciate you taking the time to watch today. Have a great day. Bye.